You know, inside your smartphone, there isn't just one computer. There are two. Now, you know the first one, right? It's the one that runs your apps, your camera, your whole digital life. But the second one, it's a ghost. It's a completely separate computer with total control over every signal your phone sends or receives. And it could be a spy sitting right there in your pocket. So let's just cut right to the chase. Is it possible that this invisible computer inside your phone could be hacked remotely, like right the second? Well, stick with me, because by the end of this, you're not just going to understand the threat. You're going to know exactly how to check your own phone and lock it down. Okay, so let's get into it. This hidden computer is called the Baseband Processor, or BP for short. Think of it as your phone's mission control for communications. It handles everything wireless, 5G, 4G, Wi-Fi, you name it, even old school calls and texts. Now, the absolutely crucial thing to get here is that it runs its own unique closed source operating system, totally walled off from the iOS or Android you interact with. It's an island with its own brain, its own memory, and yeah, its own vulnerabilities. And this is where it gets really interesting. Look at the difference here. The main computer, the application processor that's running your iOS or Android, it's constantly being poked and prodded by security researchers all over the world. You're touching it, using it every single second. But the baseband processor? It's a total black box. It runs a specialized real-time OS. You have zero direct interaction with it. And its code is almost never opened up for public review. It's the perfect hiding place for a really nasty bug. So you have this isolated system, this ghost in the machine. Well, naturally, it's got its own unique doors and windows that hackers have gotten really good at exploiting. Let's take a look at how they actually pick those locks. These are some of the classic ways in. A buffer overflow is basically like pouring so much water into a glass that it spills over the sides. An attacker crafts a special data packet that's too big for the memory space it's supposed to fit in. Their malicious code spills over into another area of memory where it can then be executed. And parser flaws? Oh, those are even sneakier. The baseband has to interpret, or parse, all these super complex network signals. An attacker can send a weird, malformed signal that confuses the parser and tricks it into running their commands instead. Just a couple of ways to get inside this hidden system. And this slide shows how they actually pull the trigger on those flaws in the real world. The one that keeps security professionals up at night is the over-the-air, or OTA attack. An attacker, who could be miles away, just sends a specially crafted invisible signal to your phone. You don't see anything, you don't click anything, but for them, it's already game over. They can also set up rogue cell towers. You might have heard them called IMSI catchers or stingrays that trick your phone into connecting to their equipment giving them a direct line to attack your baseband. So let's walk through it. Here's how an attack might go down. Step one, the attacker sets up their rogue tower and sends out the bait. Your phone connects. Step two, that malformed data hits your baseband, the parser can't handle it, and it crashes. That's the breach. Step three, the payload. The attacker's code gets injected and they achieve remote code execution. They are now inside the hidden computer. From there, they install a permanent backdoor, and then they try for the grand prize, pivoting from the baseband over to the main operating system to get all of your data. And if an attacker manages to take over that baseband processor, well, the level of compromise is just absolute. We're talking about one of the most catastrophic security failures a device can have. So what do they get? Pretty much everything. They can listen to your phone calls as they happen. They can read your text messages, which means they can steal your two-factor authentication codes. They can get your precise GPS location from the modem itself. But honestly, the most terrifying part is the unkillable persistence. The malware emits written directly onto the modem's firmware chip. That means it survives a reboot. It even survives a full factory reset. The infection literally becomes a permanent part of your phone. Which, of course, brings us all the way back to that first really important question. How do you know if your phone is at risk? And the answer probably isn't what you think it is. This, this is the single most important thing to take away from this entire explainer. You could be running in the absolute latest, most patched version of iOS or Android, and you could still be totally vulnerable. Why? Because the security of your main OS has absolutely nothing to do with the security of that separate, hidden computer, the baseband. And look, this isn't an iPhone problem or an Android problem. It's an everyone problem. It doesn't matter if you have a Pixel, a Samsung, an iPhone, you're in the same boat. The chip companies like Qualcomm or MediaTek find the flaws in their modem firmware. 
but it's your phone's manufacturer, Google, Samsung, Apple, who is responsible for packaging that fix and pushing it out to your actual device. And just in case you think this is all some old theoretical threat, it is absolutely not. These numbers here, these are real-world high-severity vulnerabilities, we call them CVEs, found just this year, 2025, in some of the most common Qualcomm modems out there. These bugs let an attacker run their code on the modem from a distance. This is an active, ongoing fight. Okay, that's the problem. It's serious, it's hidden, and it's happening right now. But it's not hopeless. There is a defense. So let's pivot to the solution. Let's talk about how you can secure that invisible computer. The key to your defense, the hero of the story, is something you've probably seen a hundred times, the over-the-air update, or OTA. This is the official digitally signed software package that comes straight from your manufacturer. And here's the thing, these updates don't just have new emojis or features for your OS, buried inside them are the critical firmware patches for your baseband modem. So here it is, plain and simple. This is your number one job. The engineers at Qualcomm and Apple and Google are doing the hard work of finding and fixing these incredibly deep, complicated bugs. Your only job is to install their fix. So how do you do it? Let's do this right now. First, we need to know what you're currently running. If you've got an Android, go into your settings, then about phone and find baseband version. If you're on an iPhone, it's settings, then general, then about, and look for modem firmware. Go ahead and find that long string of letters and numbers. That's the software version of your hidden computer. Okay, you got it? Now for the easy part, let's get you protected. Connect to a good Wi-Fi network, make sure you've got enough battery. On Android, go find system update in your settings. On an iPhone, it's in general, under software update. If you see an update waiting for you there, install it. Don't wait. That download is the thing that contains the patch for your phone's hidden computer. Now, beyond that, there are a few other smart practices. When you see a security patch, install it immediately. Don't put it off. Be careful with unofficial software, what people call custom ROMs, because they might not include these critical baseband patches. And hey, if you're ever in a really high-risk area and feeling paranoid, remember that airplane mode physically shuts down the radio. It takes that whole attack surface right off the table. So after all of that, what's the one core idea you really need to walk away with? It's this. Your phone is two computers in one box. You're in charge of securing the one you see every day, your apps, your data, your passwords. But the manufacturer is the one responsible for securing the invisible one. Your job is to be the final critical link in that security chain and just install the fix they send you. And that leaves us with one last kind of chilling thought. You've done your part. You installed the official update, you patched the modem, but in a world with incredibly sophisticated attackers and complex supply chains, how do you ever really know for sure that the fix itself is clean? <laughs>